Alrighty, so welcome to Wayburn Bombargo. How are you guys doing? Yeah, wow, good, 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 good. It's my first good. time here. Is it? Yeah. I think it's my first time. Too. I don't know. Nice. It's good to be in Wayburn, man. You guys are a, a Saskatoon-based band. Are you all from Saskatoon originally? We're originally from Prince Albert, Prince Albert. but I've been living in Saskatoon yeah, for about eight, nine years now. So it's been there for a Saskatoon's little bit. feeling like home for sure. And then these two boys, Born Saskatoon. Saskatoon. Born nice. Right. nice. They didn't know each other until like this year though. Oh, no way. That's not that small of a town, but I knew his brother. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of brothers, uh, am I wrong, but are there two groups of brothers in the band? There are two groups, right. yeah. We've got We're Two, and then we also have Sam and Matt. Uh, Sammy's having a snooze right now, and <laughs> Matt is uh, actually planting trees. He's just coming back. Uh, he'll be here next, what? Week? next week. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we're getting excited to have the whole crew back together. Yeah, have you guys ever played any shows with the Sheepdogs? We've never done any shows with them, but we're good friends with a few of the members. Uh, Leah used to play guitar in it, and he runs a bar that we often play at in Saskatoon called The Capital, and then Ryan's a good friend who plays the bass in there. We're always asking him questions, and they've been just nothing but awesome dudes. Like super one day wild. the stars will align. Yeah, we do want to do we'll some shows. We'll just end up at day. some festival together. That's kind of you know. It's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're classified as rock, but to be honest, when I listen to your music, there is rock, but it's very psychedelic, soulful. Uh, it's it's not just rock for sure. There's a whole mixture of genres together. What, what would you describe yourselves as? Yeah, we like to kind of call it moving and grooving. It's sort Sort of like the the idea of like rock and roll, funk and soul, kind of all like mixed together. So it's like a little bit of pop, it's a little bit of like soul, it's a bit of funk, it's a bit of rock, and like combined, we call that moving and group. <laughs> so it's like as long as it sort of meets that category, some of the songs will be like way more rock and roll, others will be like way more you know, pop or funky, and, For sure. and then we kind of just like to make some music that we love, and hopefully other people love it too. And yeah, so it's kind of, we don't want to, you know, box it in too heavy, but... For sure. Yeah, it's been a fun ride. Four years ago, Spenny and I started playing tunes together, and uh, we decided we wanted to start a band, and then this whole journey kind of just continued on. We started adding brothers, members, Neil just joined <laughs> with us a little while ago, which has been you awesome, <laughs> having him on the road drumming, and... Uh, yeah, it's just been kind of uh, we, what Bombargo stands for is a band of brothers. So it's just, you know, adding more brothers and, uh, you know, cruising the country and playing good tunes. You're touring and uh, you're you're doing a lot about uh, the Oxygen song, obviously. Yeah. That's yeah. an awesome song. I absolutely love it. Like, how exactly did that come together? Oh, thanks so much, man. Well, uh, it was Matt and Spenny's initial kind of hook, I feel yeah, like. Just a real late, cold night with nothing else to do and just kind of wrote a summer song. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> Just to get up. out of the winter. And then, <laughs> but then we finished it off in Bali so we could actually, you know, have the yeah. right summer touches to it. And then, we, then that vibe came together and then we just went to the studio and put it down. One of those songs that, you know, for the first time I feel like it kind of captures like our energy live because I feel like we have a lot of like really good positive energy live and that song is just kind of fun and exciting. There's something in the air already there is that the newest one yes yeah. i absolutely love that song and and personally i would say it's my favorite song of yours right now i, oh, I thanks, love the feel dude. of it i love the video too yeah thanks. the video is right got that dog adopted yeah. Yeah. oh did you yeah, yeah. 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 Found found home, found so that's good yeah awesome. if you haven't seen it we had a uh foster dog was like the star of the the video so um we, me and nate took the dog out for a day and well, I filmed it. Nate was we had, our hands were pretty full because it's a big dog. And, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but yeah, it turned out pretty good. And, yeah, yeah. And he's got a loving home now, and he's from what we've heard, he's just having a blast. Probably you know digging holes, having fun, mining some bones, hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Good dog. <laughs> good dog life. Man. So was most of that filmed in Saskatoon then? Or? Yeah. Oh yeah, we filmed the whole thing in like an hour or two. Yeah, we've got an EP and a uh, studio album and, uh, and then just a, a bunch of singles. Bunch of singles. Yeah. Yeah. But the idea is that we will be recording new right. music very soon. Some people might not know is your guarantee that you have for a good time. Ah, yes, That's the good it. time guarantee. Well, you know, a lot of people try to promise you a good time, but we actually guarantee it. And I think of the you know many, many shows that we've played, we've yet to have someone come and say they didn't have a good time. So it's like... You know, for us, we're just wanting, if people are going to come and spend their time and, and spend their money to come and enjoy some music with us, we want to make sure they're going to have a good time, so we'd like to put on a show. Um, you know, there's a lot of bands that play really great tunes, 
Uh, but I think it's like, if they want to listen to the music, they can listen at home. But if they want to come out to your show, it's like, let's give them a show. Let's give them a good time. So that's something we always like promise. And it's been a really fun ride. And so far, no one hasn't had a good time yet. It's been a good, <laughs> so it's been, yeah, it's been a good run on the good time. Yeah, and there's been like people who've broken their hips and like, yeah. Yeah. like, like still good time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. like, oh, it was a good show. Still good, <laughs> still good. <laughs> like, still good. <laughs> like, oh wow. Uh, my path didn't really cross with these guys until just a couple months ago. I was playing in a few other bands and uh, actually first heard about these guys. They played a show at Amigos that I just stumbled upon. And I remember being in there, just like jaw on the floor, like who are these guys? Where did they come from? <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I went home and I, I learned a couple of their songs. I bought their EP, and I kind of started out just like enjoying the music. And I'm like, that's fine, I'm not bad. Played with other bands, but deep down, I was like, something was kind of drawing me towards these guys. <laughs> we feel so grateful and humble that people even show up to listen to us. And so it's like, let's say some things that hopefully leave them feeling a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, a little bit more ready to go after their dreams and their goals. And that's something that. You know, when Spenny and I threw this crazy idea out to be like, let's start a band, and like, you know, almost 30. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> being I mean, like a little like later in, in life and not as maybe like the, the, you know, most rational decision ever. It's like, we've been so grateful for the amount of support we've received through this and like went for this big crazy dream and we've had some wild things happen along the way. So we just like letting people know about that and just reminding them that like all the great things in life come from taking a chance and taking a shot and going for something big. Yeah, check us out on uh, Instagram, that's uh, at Bombargo, um, and then listen to the music. Uh, Spotify is probably the best place, yeah, Apple, Apple Music, music Teaser, Tidal, all those. YouTube, if you want to go check out some rad music videos. Big show coming up at Cruise Event Center in Saskatoon on August 30th. And then we're playing the Rough Riders Labor Day Classic Halftime Show uh, yeah, the, the next day. And then we go on tour for like almost two months. Two months. <laughs> Wayburn, we love you. Thank you guys so much for listening to us. Thanks for listening to Magic. Play music and just have a great time in life, you know? Yeah. We've never done it. Pick it up. Try it yeah, out. Yeah, try it out. like it. The recorder is a great place to start, and then you're just going from there, man. Yeah, you might That's quit right. your job and start a band with a bunch of guys and just be in a band. You all never the time. know. You yes. never know. Yeah. <laughs> just good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Appreciate it, bro.